Welcome back to CNET's live coverage here at CES 2020. And it wouldn't be CES without a whole lot of robots. I'm here at the Ford booth to show you a new robot called Digit. I'm joined by Damien Shelton from Agility Robotics, who is the company that makes Digit. Now, let's bring Digit out and then we can explain a little bit more about the robot. So, let's bring Digit out. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and so welcome Damien, to the board booth. My name is Tyler. What is Digit? So Digit is a bipedal robot. It has two legs, two arms. It's really designed to work with autonomous vehicles like we have with Ford here. Uh, it is designed to do both first mile and last mile tasks, helping to load and unload vehicles and also perform other manual labor. Let's just, just look at, let's look at Digit's movements here. Now this, this is very, very fast and, and very stable. What sort of speeds are we talking about here? So Digit can do about three kilometers an hour, which is a sort of slow walk by human standards, uh, but fast enough that it's practical to use as a tool. Okay, so the idea is that this is for deliveries that are from an autonomous car to your house, for example. So it's lifting up a package now, which is just a regular box. Or, for that matter, working with any other vehicle so that you can increase the efficiency of human drivers. Okay, it's coming close. Let's take a look as it walks into the vehicle. So you can see the legs look like they are backwards by human standards. It's really designed like a bird or uh, like a horse, where it's walking on its toes. Most of the time, that makes it more power efficient once it's got a smaller battery. Let's talk about those arms because it's got the sort of a dexterity that's allowing it to lift things like boxes. But potentially, could it have more like human like hands or hooks or anything like that? It could. That would run afoul of the same problem people have, which is when we fall, we tend to break our forearms or our hands. So, for package handling tasks with a box above a certain size, it's practical to do sort of a boxing glove style lift on it, uh, which is really what they're just designed for right now. Now, we're probably going to add more dexterous hands to it over time, but that's not been a priority for the early part of Digit's lifetime. Okay. It tap the let's just take another look at Digit in action One that's here. Equipped with advanced sensors and heavy now, let's talk about some of the actual sensors, because on top it almost looks like something you would see on a self-driving car, like LiDAR. Exactly, so that's actually a Velodyne LiDAR. It's the same model that's used on a lot of Thomas vehicles. That lets Digit map its environment and then also follow a path through the environment once it understands the map. Uh, it also has some Intel real sense cameras on it that it uses for seeing steps and obstacles that are close to the robot. Nice, and it's able to place the boxes in the trunk, like so. Now, what sort of weights are we talking? Because those are obviously quite light boxes. These are empty for the demo purposes. Um, the actual rating capacity is between 15 and 20 kilograms, so call it up to about 40 pounds. So it really depends on the operating speed of the robot and uh, you know what kind of battery life you're trying to get. I enjoy watching Digit, and at the moment you can see it kind of giving a little bit more of an indication of its degrees of freedom, so it can kind of move a little bit like a human can in a way. Yeah, we actually added the movements to it when it's standing because it looks very unnatural to stand perfectly still. Rarely would a person stand absolutely stock still, and uh, that helps to indicate the robot's on. Together, nice. we're working together. Also just cool. It does look cool. I mean, I'm sure you probably played around in the lab getting it to do some movements, a little oh, yeah, bit of dancing. It does you know. fist bumps. <laughs> we have a little thing to show off at the end here. Oh, okay. We're going to stay tuned for the surprise. Digit, thank you for the display. Let's take about Okay, this is the surprise now. Oh, it's giving a bow. Enjoy your day here at CES. Thank you for coming. That's very cool. So we just took a look at Digit a robot that is currently going to be used by Ford to test out kind of like those deliveries between your house and a delivery vehicle. Now, or in a warehouse. Or in a warehouse, it. absolutely. So let's talk a little bit more about Digit the robot itself. Now, how long can this run? What maximum payload can it carry? Things like yep. that. So it can run between two and three hours. That really depends on how fast you're walking and whether you're carrying something. Uh, it's actually very power efficient on the gate. So right now about half of the power when it's turned on is effectively brain and other power draw uh, on the robot. Uh, so the gate efficiency, it runs about 300 watts when it's walking uh, or about 500 watts if it's walking with carrying a payload. Okay, so I know a lot of people are going to be asking and every time I've covered robots, people have asked me, how safe are they? Let's talk about some of the safety sure. overrides and mechanisms in Digit. So there's some stuff on our YouTube channel. We show that it knows how to keep away from people who are walking up to it. Uh, right now, our primary research is focused on 
using robots in an environment that's controlled. So we would not, for instance, be doing deliveries on the show floor of CES. Uh, there's probably another couple of years of work that we would need before we're comfortable with that. Uh, there's a growing body of legislation on using autonomous robots outdoors for delivery, uh, and we're really interested to be part of establishing those standards. The last thing we want is to hurt somebody. Right, and protect you against the robot uprising, of no. course. <laughs> well, fortunately, Digit's uh, not smart enough to uprise. So. Okay, it's been great talking to you, Damien. Thank you Appreciate so much. It. It's been great talking to you. And if you want to check out more on CES 2020, stay tuned to CNET. And, of course, make sure to stay tuned at the top of the hour for CNET's next big thing.